Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey, before you even ask, the lipstick is Fenty Beauty and I'll make sure I leave it linked for you in the description box. You're so very welcome. Well folks, the time has come again. It is time for another empties. But before we get into today's empties, please make sure that you are subscribed and be sure to hit that notification bell so that way you are notified every single time I upload a video. And if you enjoy the video, I'd greatly appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up because it really does help my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Now, if you are a regular here, you already know how this goes. In case you are new here, I am going to grab products out of this red bag in no particular order and basically give you mini reviews and let you know if I would repurchase. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first product that I grabbed out of the bag is this Mish Cleansed Moisturizing and Cleansing Sulfate Free Shampoo. And initially when I tried this, I had a pretty good experience. This gives you a great thorough cleanse and it smells like sweet tarts. I found that over time for this to be called a moisturizing shampoo, that this was a bit too stripping for me and just didn't give me the moisture that I was accustomed to with some of my other favorite moisturizing shampoos. That's not at all to say that this was a bad shampoo. I just... It just didn't give what it was supposed to have gave for me. This unfortunately just wasn't it and I mentioned that in the video and because you all be snitching, Mish actually reached out to me and sent me a PR package and they mentioned that they reformulated their shampoo. So once I finally get around to trying out the new formula of the shampoo, I can decide whether it's worth a repurchase. But based on my experience with this so far, unfortunately the answer is no. This next one should come as no surprise to many of you. This is the African Pride Moisture Miracle Pre-Shampoo Treatment. I don't know how many times at this point that I've mentioned this on my channel. I have an entire video dedicated to pre-pooing. I'll make sure I leave that linked in the cards. It automatically gives me a head start during my wash day. It's also accessible and super affordable. So if you haven't tried this, I would definitely recommend it. I usually have multiples of these in my empties, but because I have too much shit, I just haven't gotten around to repurchasing it just yet but I want you to know from the very bottom of my heart that I will definitely be repurchasing. Next is a product that I actually wound up using offline and this is the Herbal Essences Argan Oil and Aloe Botanical Repairing Mask. I never got around to doing a video on this deep conditioner because I practically used the entire jar of it the first time because it was super super thick and didn't really distribute well for me because you all know I like to deep condition on damp hair. Before I get into the meat and potatoes I want to start off by mentioning that this is not curly girl friendly. This does contain silicones but that's neither here nor there because you all know I don't care about silicones. As far as my experience with the deep conditioner this was just okay. Like I said it was super super thick so it didn't really distribute very well on my damp hair and I didn't really get around to trying it again just because I practically used the entire jar the first time so as far as repurchasing no this next product you'll probably recognize from our zoom collab I'll make sure I leave that linked in the cards this is the curls dynasty pumpkin mint deep treatment and the first time I tried this, this was just okay for me. I wasn't really blown away. That was 100% because of the fact that we were rushing to get the Zoom collab filmed. And I just wasn't able to take my time and do my normal routine of deep conditioning on damp hair. Oh, but honey, the second time I tried this, I was able to take my time and let my hair dry down quite a bit before I applied it. And this this was a good time. I found that when I applied it to wet hair, it just gave me more of a strengthening treatment. But when I applied it to my damp hair, I was able to experience more of the moisturizing benefits of this deep conditioner. I was also able to use heat for a longer period of time, which also enhanced the experience for me. And I am confusion. Trying this deep conditioner out, I've had an okay experience and I've had a pretty decent experience. So I do think that eventually I will pick this up again because it's good to have a nice moisturizing protein balancing treatment on hand and because it's minty and you all know how I feel about scalp tingle. Next up is the purple rice water strength and color care mask. And I have mentioned this previously on my channel. I do have a video where I used this deep conditioner previously and I'll make sure I leave it in the cards, but won't be repurchasing. Next up is this Unicurl Dragon Fruit and Kiwi Moisture Fantasy Moisturizing Conditioner. And I don't think that I have a video on this. I think I used this offline. And I have to say that this wasn't very moisturizing for me. I found that this gave me more of a strengthening or protein kind of conditioner experience. And although I don't require it, this did have good slip during the application. But as far as moisture, no, no. So unfortunately, because of that, I will not be repurchasing. 
this next product I definitely mentioned in the brands that I hate with products that I love video. I'll make sure I leave that linked in the cards. And this is the Curls Popping Pineapple So So Smooth Vitamin C Leave-In Conditioner. I do have a couple of videos where I use this and so many people did not enjoy this collection. And honestly, based on my experiences with the Curls brand, I'm surprised that I love this leave-in conditioner so much. This leave-in conditioner is so thick, so getting it out of this bottle was super annoying, but it did the job. It gave Gave me great hydration and moisture to my hair unfortunately for me because I like to apply leave-ins on damp hair this didn't have the best slip but it certainly didn't have the worst this is also one of the most affordable products from the curls brand I really really like this leave-in conditioner but me myself I have leave-in conditioners that I enjoy way more than this one so unfortunately this will not be a repurchase for me next is another deep conditioner from Unicurl and this is the aloe mint moisturizing and silkening deep conditioner which I have definitely mentioned previously on my channel. In fact, I was a little bit petty in the video and said that this was a good moisturizing and protein balancing deep conditioner that could replace the brand that shall not be named. Just because of the interesting texture of this deep conditioner, I was able to get three uses from eight ounces, which is completely unheard of. This also has mint in it, so my scalp just gets the sensation that we're skiing in the Alps. And again, because you all be snitching, I already have a backup. Next up is another leave-in, and this is the Main Crush Crisis Control Ayurvedic Leave-In. Again, I do have a video where I used this previously. This is super moisturizing for my hair, gives me fantastic slip, also has great Ayurvedic ingredients like what's not to like, you know what I'm saying? When I've used this, I have slathered this on and I didn't have any complications with it mixing with any of my stylists, be it from the Main Crush or not. I really, really like this, so if and when I purchase from the Main Crush again, I'll definitely repurchase. Next is a product that needs no introduction. Next up, we have another leave-in conditioner, and this is the Camille Rose Coconut Water Leave-In Detangling Hair Treatment, which I used previously on my channel, and at this point, I know I have run out of cards, so I'll leave it linked in the description box. Really, really enjoyed this. In fact, I just used this very same lines deep conditioner in my last wash day, and while these products are super moisturizing, hydrating, great slip, and all of that, the smell is just not... It. And unfortunately, because of how that super sweet, heavy fragrance affects me, I cannot in good conscience repurchase this. We are almost at the finish line. Next is this Soltanical Sprout Rice Vitamin Butter Shampoo, which at this point I have mentioned on my channel about 50 11 times, a staple great ingredients, super effective, super moisturizing. Definitely from what I've tried so far, my favorite butter shampoo from Soltanicals, I already have a backup and I will continue to repurchase because it's bomb. Not to mention this Sprout Rice Vitamin line has been expanded and a number of these products from this very same line can now be found in Walmart. We love to see it. And last but not least, this is a product that I picked up during the Black Friday season from Sally's based off of Sheree's recommendation. And this is the As I Am Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner which has swiftly become a favorite. I have used this as my leave-in for the last several wash days. Staple. That's all I can say. Super moisturizing. Great slip. Smells good. Super affordable. Easily accessible. Yes, yes, and yes. I, I am so glad that I picked up multiples of these. At this point in my life, this is my absolute favorite leave-in conditioner, and I will most definitely be repurchasing when I run out of my backup. Well, folks, that about wraps up today's video. Unfortunately, I did not get through as many products as I would have liked just because I was dying to get my hands on some of the new stuff that I recently picked up. But for my next empties, I'm definitely going to try to use up more. Make sure you drop down in the comments and let me know how the hashtag use your stash movement is working for you. As you can see, I'm struggling a little bit, but it's going to be okay. On your way to watching another video of mine, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Please please be safe and I'll catch you in the next one.